Hey guys, it's Chris. Um, as promised, today I bring you footage from our trip to Orlando Megacon. It was a whole lot of fun and uh, got some really kind of cool stuff to show you. Unfortunately, I did not get any celebrity interviews because they have some very strict policies at the bigger conventions. I tried, I failed, and uh, I if you notice I sound sick, that is because <laughs> But during the course of this vacation, all three of us, Jamie, Connor, and I all got horribly, horribly sick, and I'm still getting over it, but, uh, but we press on, and we managed to have a lot of fun anyway, but, uh, but yeah, I got a lot of good footage, so we're going to start looking at that. Okay, first day of Megacon, Connor, hi. Hi. <laughs> Doing the Harry Potter theme thing. We're going to make that. Yes, we got Harry and Hermione. And you can't see it, but I am Lord Voldemort. I am Lord Voldemort. Come on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now, Gryffindor! Woo! <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Stand next to it, Gunner. Don't don't point your wand at it. Oh, that is really good. Look at this flash suit over here. Look at the flash suit. Yeah. And the jacket from Smallville over there. I know, I'm looking at it. As you can see, we had a lot of fun walking around the 
the main floor. There are a whole bunch of awesome vendors and replica makers and model makers and and uh, awesome stuff like that. I I didn't get any footage of Artist Alley, but there were a lot of really big uh, comic artists, the ones that I grew up loving, uh, Andy Cupbert, <clears throat> Andy Cupbert, and uh, Arthur Adams was there, Frank Miller was there for part of a day, but um, his, the line to see him was like two and a half hours, and I didn't have that kind of time to donate to something like that, but, uh, but, um, um, I did, however, get a uh, comic signed by Jay Lee. Two of my comics, actually, two of my the first two issues of the Dark Tower that he drew, um, the Dark Tower series Marvel did a couple of years back, and uh, actually, I have them right here. No, oh, Jay Lee signature. And if anyone doesn't believe me that that is Jay Lee's signature, I have proof. Rub off all the time. If it were a single issue, yeah, I would have a problem. Thank you, sir. So that was really exciting. And, uh, and also, uh, I did get to meet Jay O'Barr. James O'Barr, who created The Crow, which was awesome for me. I did not get to get that on camera, unfortunately, but uh, he was really nice, really cool. Um, it was kind of embarrassing, actually, because um, at his booth, because at a lot of the booths, they had people just tending the booths until the artist showed up and stuff like that, and I went up to his booth, and there was this young guy with dark hair, and there was this other guy with glasses and a baseball cap, and really short hair, and and I, that was James O'Barr. I didn't recognize him because I'm used to seeing him with long hair. And anyway, I I went up to the younger guy and I was like, I was like, hey, is is James gonna be here today? And he just kind of laughs and he turns to the guy <laughs> next to him and he's like, he's like, I don't know. Hey, is is Jake is Jake gonna be here today? And he just kind of laughs and I looked at him when he said that and. I, oh yeah uh, that's him and I was like oh my god sorry man I didn't even recognize you standing there and he's like no it's okay it's okay and talked to me for a couple minutes it was really kind of kind of funny and embarrassing but it was cool and from there we move on to all the cosplay we we uh we saw a lot of awesome cosplay most of which I did manage to get on film there were a couple that I saw just fleetingly and didn't have my camera out and it's kind of sad, but uh, I did get a lot of really good ones. And the very first one you're going to see here, I, I had to put up front and talk about because it, it just cracked me up. Because we were walking around first day in our our Harry Potter costumes, and uh, and one of the first groups of cosplayers we saw was this this group of people dressed up as Snatchers from Deathly Hollows, and they were they were very very in character they wouldn't break character and when we walked past them the the guy that was like their leader saw me and he's like oh oh lord oh, oh hail the dark lord and he holds up his harry potter wanted poster and he's like we're looking for him lord you know and he he was hilarious and just wouldn't stop and like connor is walking next to me and i was like oh well i have him right here and he goes, oh, you found him! Yes, hail the Dark Lord! It was, oh, it was so funny. So, um, anyway, <laughs> here is all of our cosplay that we found.
then one of the big standouts was this group that went around an entire day. I think it was the first day. And it was this huge crowd of Deadpools, all various different versions of Deadpool and various different costumes. And they just walked around the entire convention through the vendors' floors and through the hallways, um, just leading these huge chants like, one of us, one of us, and you know stuff about how Deadpool is the best and stuff like that. And it was just, it was really cool. <laughs> And then they had this cool little room that was a kids area where you could take your kid and they, you know, they were sick of walking around they wanted to you know go play for a little bit they had this room set up with with all these tables where you could just play Legos all day long and of course once we discovered that that's all Connor wanted to do so he spent a lot of time in there and he spent an oddly large amount of time uh, using that room to hit on the girls that worked there <laughs> And then I did get to meet a few celebrities. Um, I, I, again, was not able to videotape or photograph while I was at the tables meeting them, but I did get a little bit of footage from far away. Um, you know, you're going to see <coughs> uh, Carlos Valdez, who plays Cisco on The Flash, and uh, Katie Cassidy, who plays uh, Black Canary on Arrow, and the one I was really excited about, I did get to talk to for a few minutes, uh, John Barrowman from uh, Doctor Who and Torchwood, who played Jack Harkness, and uh, plays Malcolm Merlin on Arrow. Um, I got to talk to him for a little bit, not on camera, unfortunately, but, um, and then uh, Michelle Gomez, who plays Missy, the new iteration of the Master on Doctor Who, again, very cool. Um, very nice. Her Scottish accent is a lot thicker in real life. Um, but yeah, here's a little bit of that. <laughs> did do a couple of photo ops. Uh, one of the ones I did was for John Cusack. That was really exciting. I've been a, I've been a huge Cusack fan all my life. Gross Point Blank is one of my favorite movies ever. And, uh, and while I was in line waiting for John Cusack, um, which was like an hour long line, maybe a little more than that, um, I was waiting in line at the photo booth. And in the photo booth, right next to mine was the line of people to meet John Barrowman and um, while I was standing there waiting he just randomly being John Barrowman being very spontaneous and charismatic and and fun-loving he just pops out of his photo booth and stands on a chair and starts yelling out to the crowd and talking to them and reassuring them that I know the line is long but you're not going to miss me. I'm going to be here. Just hang with it and just joking around with them and stuff. And I, I got some footage of that, which I'm going to throw in here real quick. I, the audio is not good. You can't hear what he's saying, but just to sh kind of show you what, what a fun, you know, fan loving guy John Barrowman is. <laughs>
All right, so it's the last day of the con. Uh, things are kind of winding down. I sadly did not get any interviews, which I kind of knew was going to happen. It's the way they run things around here, but that's cool. And uh, I did get to meet John Barrowman. Got to talk to him for a couple minutes, uh, as well as uh, Michelle Gomez, who uh, played Missy on Doctor Who, um, and she's been on Gotham. And got my picture taken with uh, John Cusack. Phelps Twins from Harry Potter. And got a whole lot of awesome cosplay footage and stuff like that. And just had a really good time. And so yeah, now it's winding down. We're going to spend the next couple days at Universal and Disney and... Just, uh, just kind of relax. And so, yeah, we had tons of fun and came home with lots of cool stuff, which I'm going to show you. Um, we, when we arrived with our tickets, we got this awesome MegaCon swag bag. And this was the pass I got to wear all week long. And the, it came with this big Frank Miller Dark Knight Returns 30th anniversary thing to get signed by him, which obviously I did not do because I didn't have time to stand in his line. But it also came with this awesome Captain America Civil War lunchbox. Let's I have one of those. Yes, you have one of those. And then there was some other cool stuff that I picked up on the vendor floor. Um, obviously, I had to get a Megacon commemorative t-shirt, which I haven't even opened yet. That'll be what I wear on my next day off. And uh, picked up this Willow Season 5 action figure for my Buffy collection, mainly because um, it was $2. There's, um, if you ever go to a con, you're interested in collector's stuff like that, Go around to all the different booths because a lot of there are some that just I mean they're just looking to get rid of their stuff they don't want to take it home especially last day that's when I got this they had a bunch of leftover overstocked action figures and stuff and this is one of them and they were like all these action figures are two dollars we don't want to take them back with us what do you want you know so so that was awesome and you know I went five booths over saw the same action figure fifteen dollars so. There's a little lesson for you. Wait till the last day. Go around to every booth because somebody's going to be just wanting to get rid of their crap. And uh, and then one of the other things I bought was one I'm really excited about. I'm pretty sure is going to be my Halloween costume this year. I found the Cyclops visor from X2, which is a little tight, but it's awesome. I love it. It's got the little things right there. I can see out of it perfectly. I think it's going to be my Halloween costume this year. So, that's cool. And, um, I think that's about it. I already showed you my, my comic signed by Jay Lee. And then there was this booth uh, promoting the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, which I don't care about, but they were giving out these masks. So, we grabbed one in each color. It's pretty cool. And that's about it. Um, as far as like my haul from the from the convention but it was a lot of fun found a lot of cool stuff saw a lot of awesome people and uh, and yeah just tons of fun and then just to cap off this video I'm gonna throw in some of our footage from Disney World because um, we we hadn't been there in a very long time Connor had never been there so we went there on our last day and we you know, I didn't get a whole lot of footage just a couple cool little bits.
about to go on? That ride. What is it? Oh. It's the Monsters Inc. Scare Floor or Laugh Floor. That's going to be cool. And uh, when we went to leave at the end of the day, uh, it was starting to storm. And there was some lightning and stuff. And apparently, um, some they got a lightning strike somewhere, and the monorail was broken. So we couldn't ride the monorail out. And the only other way back to the parking lot is um, by ferry boat, which we had never done before. We'd never ridden on that. And so we went, yeah, cool, that's, you know, whatever. And we went and got, I would say, in line to get on the ferry boat, but it wasn't a line, it was a mob. And, like, we sat there and waited for the boat to pull up, we watched everybody get off, and when they opened the gates for people to start boarding the boat, you would have thought <laughs> that, that this was a giant group of Austrian Jews making for the Swiss Alps, <laughs> heading for the border I mean, in World War II. I mean, just the way they just rushed this dock, it was insane. And we just kind of hung back and went, whoa, yeah, you know. And, but, uh, but it was kind of fun trying out the ferry thing. We'd never done that before. <laughs> Why are we taking the ferry? Because um, we 
How was Disney World? Good. Yeah? You loved it? Yeah. What was your favorite thing? Uh, uh, Mickey Mouse and that little roller coaster ride. Which roller coaster ride? This one. Uh, the Big Thunder Mountain? Yeah. What about what about Space Mountain? Did you like Space Mountain? Yeah, like it goes like. Yes. Yeah, Space Mountain. Yeah. yeah. That one was cool. Yeah. See, I was surprised you liked that one because it's fast. Hey, don't play there. Don't play in that. Oh, dude. Come on. Um, did you did you like meeting Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Yeah, that was cool, huh? I already said that. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yes. What about Chippendale? When we got our picture taken with them, was that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll tell everybody bye. Bye. <laughs> Come on, you can do better than that. Bye. <laughs> I don't think you want me to make another video. Yes, come down now. Me too. But yeah, that's it. That's our trip to MegaCon, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I... Don't know when the next time I'll be putting anything up is probably, I'd say probably the next Loot Crate unboxing. I'm hoping to do something in between now and then though. Uh, still hoping to get out there and do some Hey I Love Your Shirt. Didn't get a chance to do that at MegaCon like I thought I would because really there wasn't, there weren't all that many nerd shirts out there. Most people were just rocking the cosplay so um so yeah, hopefully I'll be doing that in the next couple weeks, but I will see you guys later. Love your faces. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that awesome stuff. I'll see you later.